فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in the battle of Uhud he was harmed his teeth or his tooth was broken he had a gash on his face صلى الله عليه وسلم his beard had the most blessed droplets of blood ever to exist on them. Subhanallah. There was no decisive victory for either side. The battle of Uhud. The reason is the Muslimin, some of them disobeyed the instruction of Allah and his messenger. And that shows us anyone from amongst us. When we disobey the instruction of Allah and his messenger, how do we expect success? We want to succeed, but we want to succeed with our own formula, a formula that really has already been tried and tested and it has flopped and failed. What about those that have been tried and tested and they have succeeded? The formula of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it easy for us to turn to him. Amin. So at that point, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made a statement. Obviously, he was in pain. And obviously, it was something that was not easy to be seen and witnessed. And he was concentrating on the fact I am a messenger of Allah calling people towards Allah and look at what they've done to me. Imagine I'm calling you towards goodness and you're beating me up. I'm calling you to become a better person, quit your lies, quit your bad habits, stop worshipping sticks and stones and you want to beat me up. So, so he makes a statement, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is narrated by Imam Muslim from Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu. He says on that day, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, how will such a nation succeed? those who have harmed their messenger while he was calling them towards goodness. How will they succeed? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses. Amazing, amazing verses. Verse number 128 of Surah Al-Imran. The instruction is not yours, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is ours. We are the ones who will decide whether we want to forgive them, guide them, etc, etc. Yes, they are oppressors. They have done wrong, but it's up to us to do what we wish. Amazing. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's take a look at another incident connected to the same verse. He used to pray. He used to pray against certain people sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those who harmed him so much. He used to pray against them. This is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma. And he says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to pray against certain people in Salatul Fajr and various other times. And when this verse was revealed where Allah is saying we can choose what we want to do with them, he stopped. And then he started praying for people. And then he continued having hope. Subhanallah. I want to draw your attention to something that happened earlier than Badr, uh, sorry, earlier than Uhud. In the 10th year of Nubuwa, of prophethood, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Ta'if, take a look at what he did. He, the same thing happened where they, they caused the most blessed droplets of blood to fall into the shoes of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he prayed for them, not against them. With us, small problem with your own sister-in-law. Ya Allah, destroy her. Ya Allah, break her. Ya Allah, you know, break them, Ya Allah. Finish them up, Ya Allah. Where are you? Why don't you raise your hands? Perhaps the angels are saying, Ameen. Ya Allah, soften their hearts, bring them together. Ya Allah, unite our families. Every single extended family has to have politics. It's impossible to have an extended family without a little bit of politics. That is your test. No one did black magic on you. Remember this because that's a quick way out. Nobody did it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. We'd rather stop blaming people. Blame shaitan. Make dua for the people. Oh Allah, grant my brother goodness. Unite us, Ya Allah. Bring us together as families. Continue making that dua. Wallahi, a day will come when that will be responded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I make dua for your destruction. You make dua for my destruction. Take a look at what's happening to the whole ummah today. People are struggling and suffering, each one cursing the other. Perhaps it's time to stop all that. 
Perhaps it's time to start praying for the people whom you disagree with, for the people whom perhaps you've had a problem with. Ask Allah to bless them and guide them. Take a page and a leaf from these beautiful verses and from the lesson of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.